when I finally got a ladder over here to come up here, my initial things that I'm seeing are scaring me slightly. But you know, people have mentioned that they, they don't believe me because I'm so calm, you know. But when, when you're a zebra and the lions have already cut your tummy open and just slowly eating you from the inside out, I think there's a party that just gives up. And you're the zebra just saying, saying, take me now. So anyhow, let's, let's look at some stuff together for the first time, shall we? This is the roof on the saddest metal building you've ever seen or witnessed or not seen. So it looks like they put a damaged panel up here. You can see it's bent there, bent there. Um, just a screw sitting on the roof, of course. And the angle, the angle on that, so you, it's super tight here, but the gas gets loose there because it was done on an angle. Put that in my pocket. Uh, again here, you're gonna see, it might not be easy to tell, and I'm standing on this thing, like risking, risking it all for you guys, but I'm standing where it's anchored, so hopefully that's somewhat safe. But let's be honest, the workmanship, like that's that's way too close to the rib. How is that gonna do anything? I've, I've tried telling people, um, you know, when it comes to metal roofs, it's actually fairly straightforward, but there's just some certain, certain things and tips to do, not to do. Um, a big not to do is over tighten. So this has been over tightened and now there is no gasket and that is no longer waterproof and that one and that one um just assume almost all of these are too tight and like look at all the screws so this is a very strange and untrained bolt pattern or screw pattern this isn't even the middle but they were aiming for the middle but they have to put one right there because you have to lock this rib down for the next piece over so it's kind of useless to be putting screws in the middle because you're still gonna have to add one against the rib so instead they should put one there, one there, one there, one there. Instead of, you, you knock one screw off that's useless and then it's just properly done. <sighs> this is so unbelievable. Okay, we got the zoom on. So this is, this is a straight line right there. Oh, well, I mean, it's just supposed to be. Where does that straight line go? Do you see how it jumps up about a foot and goes, See, way up there, and then, it's so sad. This is just entertainment at this point. Um, like I said, I, I've lost all faith in humanity. Take a look at this. It's a very minor mistake, mind you, but um, I, I barely noticed it. Take a look. <laughs> oh, it's just, you can't make this up. You know, damaged panel here, you know. Damaged panel here. Like it's a brand new building. I don't want damage. And because it's bent here, these this is supposed to set right over top of it. Fairly perfect. In fact, it won't seat properly unless it's lined up. So it helps you line up your roof. But when you have something like this, it can throw everything off, which it did. It, you, can, you can't really tell, but it's tighter. The rib is tighter on the rib up here. And when you come down here, look it. There's a huge gap. We're now seeing this ridge right in here. It's gonna be really hard to tell on video, but there's no such thing as a straight line for these bolts. Again, I'm not overly concerned about straight lines, um, but I mean, it would be nice. And quite honestly, like that's, that's passable but you'll see there's there's a section where it just comes right off. But what I don't like is where'd the top of the bolt go or the screw? Oh, okay, that's just my, inside my building, but the washer was left, thank God. Oh my gosh, that, that could have been really bad, but good thing I found it. Now it's waterproof again. 
don't do this. After seeing all this um, shoddy workmanship, don't don't trust and do what I'm doing. But I'm doing this because, unfortunately, the next un unsuspecting customer isn't going to come up here because they're not able or willing, and they're just going to assume that the roof is in in the shape in which it will repel water. Again, why would you come so close to the rib so half the gasket is sticking up and it's not even... Oh, it's just so sad. It's just so sad. Like, look at this. It's just like... <laughs> it's crazy. I just... I, you can't make it up. I wish you could make it up, but you can't. You can't make it up. This could make a great film, though, one day, imagine. The director would be like, no, it's too unbelievable. No one would ever believe it. Man, that gasket's shredded. Oh, it's just, look at this over here. <laughs> so that, that that's happened to me before, okay? What happens is you're putting so much pressure on your screw head, um, but either you're not steady or, you know, and what happens is it slips and then that's the tip of your drill bit and it goes kink marks it up I no longer have finished there um and then over here you know this is another special this is another special one three blind mice you know <sighs> yeah another damaged rib oh this guy got really carried away oh, oh crap well better try again another damaged panel right here I, I think you could probably, it's safe to say this whole roof is absolute garbage. You might be wondering to yourselves, and, and you know, I haven't even replied to all the comments because there's so many of them, but um, I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for action. I'm a nice guy, and that's pro part of the problem. I didn't I didn't probably react as angry as I probably should have. Instead, I went home and told my wife about it and she had to deal with that. I should have unleashed the beast. Um, but, so a couple things. I'm a very busy person at the moment. I know we all are. And I just, I, I should have made it a goal and a mission to be here the moment they said it was complete. And that's my bad. Um, but, it goes without saying, this is unbelievable. <laughs> Honestly, I've, I've lost one of my lives and I've become a colder and more angry person because of this. And so that's partly why I, I'm going to my property once a week. It, it's my happy place. It's my therapy. Because this is a bump in the road. I hope, I hope they make it right. Um or I hope I can find a great lawyer if there's anyone watching this and I have any fight in this uh, game here, let me know. Um, unfortunately, I probably signed a contract that's in favor of the contractor. That's how they do it. I wish people were better and treated people better, but we live in, a, in strange times. And I, at the end of the day, this metal building is a blip on the radar. There's way worse things happening right now, but this is, you know, this affects me and it makes me angry. But I don't know. I do appreciate all you guys' support, your comments, and the love and the comments. And, you know, I wish, I wish this was different. I mean, the sun's setting. That's pretty, right? Um, but like I said, I feel like my hands are tied in a way. I know a lot of people are, just sue them, just sue them. Man, from everything I've read, I've already talked to some friends. It's just, it can get really slippery. But I'm open to suggestions. Um, I've already sent some very firm, yet yeah, firm-worded emails because none of the leadership of this business that I hired have, have come to even look at it. They just keep sending the same contractor. And again, he's a nice enough guy, but he clearly doesn't know what he's doing or cares about what he's doing. I can't believe it. I didn't come up here until today. Like it's almost Thanksgiving. Um, 
but uh, it felt like the wind came right out of my sails and it felt like someone cut my legs off and ripped out my heart and gouged my eyes because I've never seen something so ugly in my life. Now the rest of the building was fixed um, to the point that I'm, you know, moving on. They replaced panels, they redid screws, but um, they ended with the roof and I am ending my inspection with the roof, unfortunately, because the roof is quite important. I don't know, apparently, you know, water damage can really wreck things. And I don't know, I think it's a hoax, but I guess I should probably get this fixed. Um, I don't know what to say, but uh, if there's any metal building builders out there that wanna share a Saturday with me, maybe we can fix this together share a brew I don't know <sighs> all right well, I think that does it I have some photos to email and some calls to make I hope you guys enjoy this as like a learning experience this is not an enjoyable video to make or probably watch it's very cringy it's cringeworthy to say the very least. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I will keep you guys updated on this building. Again, I don't love making these uh, these videos anymore. It was, it was really fun when I first started making these uh, shop build videos, but it's become a chore in in the sense that it's 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 mentally and emotionally draining every time i come over here to the point where i expect oh yeah we get to move on and i get to do spray foam but i ain't doing nothing until this building is fixed because spray foam will just hide the holes in my roof and um water will just slowly leak and then i'll end up with an absolute disaster not like this isn't already all right, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Much love. Peace.